glasses all of a sudden it just fogged up. Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? Good morning. How are y'all doing on this Thursday morning? <sighs> so excited. <laughs> um, so today's the day. We getting these keys. Yeah, uh, sorry y'all, my glasses had all of a sudden, oh look at all that stuff back there. Mm, 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 mm. Ain't nothing but food and stuff, but. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, maybe take this towel from around my face so it won't make me hot. So yeah, today is an exciting day. Um. I'm getting some keys, some keys. No, it's not to an apartment. It is to a uh, office space. <clears throat> so excited about that. Because if you see this shit here, y'all see that shit there. It's because I don't have a closet because you know, <laughs> You're technically not supposed to be living in a hotel. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> mm, this shit right here. It's ridiculous. But I'm going to show y'all so y'all can see that I do need a bigger space. Um, actually, it's just kind of thrown around because I actually just threw that over there. So it looks messy, but... Everything is in order. I know what what is and all that stuff like that. So let's turn y'all around. Oh, goodness gracious! Look at all. Ooh, hold on. All the stuff I need to try on. All of that stuff is Poshmark. Um, some of that's Poshmark. This is new stuff and stuff I need to hang up. That's why I got that roller rack thing. This is stuff I want to try on. Well, except for that bag. That's a hair bag. But, yeah. As soon. soon as I get these keys. I'm, I'm going in there. Cleaning up one of, the, one of the rooms. You know, get a little rug or something. Try to make it look a little, you know, dazzly. To, you know, be on camera. So I can get these hauls up. Um, I bought another bathing suit so I could at least have one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I have a lot of bathing suits because I want to show y'all the bathing suits from last year that I never wore. Um, but what hopefully I'll be wearing this year. Uh, and oh, you know, bathing suits I got from Walmart. They're probably. I don't know, because they started early here putting bathing suits out. Like, as soon as it started getting hot outside, bathing suits are out. And now, they're discounted on our end because they've been out for at least two months. Bathing suits have been out at least two months before summer has even started here. Because summer is officially June 21st. Uh, like, worldwide, I guess. But, you know, Florida... It's always hot, so, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, as soon, once I go to the office, get my keys, ask them a few more little questions um, about seeing if I can get the lights changed. Like, there's a dude, you know, like a handyman that works out that way. See if I can get his number and see if he can help me um, change out some light bulbs, put in um security type stuff and things like that so you know is it okay if i you know maybe switch out a toilet or something because if i'm gonna be there for three years the minimum is three years so if i'm gonna be there for three years i have to make things comfortable for me um i would like to have a uh it's a hand it's called a handicapped toilet because it it's just <laughs> you don't have to sit so close to the ground you know, you kind of sit. It's bigger, taller, taller. Not bigger, it's just taller. Um, so I would like to put one of those in there if possible. 
Um, so it's just comfortable for me. Like I say, I'm gonna be there for three years. <sighs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I have, I, anyways. So, yeah. Um, yeah. <sighs> Things are, listen. You know, you don't really, I don't really like telling people good news. Oh, my battery's about to die. Because, you know, everybody's not happy for you. They'll sit there and say, oh, congratulations, yada, yada, yada. But technically, it's not congratulations. Hold on, let me change my battery. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. <laughs> I was talking to y'all, then all of a sudden my camera just went black. And I was like, uh... Well, it didn't go black. It just turned off like it was just on, but it was recording. So, anyways, like I was saying, um, everybody isn't happy for you. So, I, I've, I've been vague about a lot of stuff. Only person who really knows, a couple of people who really know um, why I got it and all this stuff like that. And, yeah. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I gotta tell y'all something that was so disturbing to me last night. I, I just couldn't believe it. So, to all the, the black men who watch me, if y'all watch this channel, who also like uh, dating outside your race, this is coming from a white girl that I heard. It was from my... All I'm gonna do is pray for y'all for real because not all white women are like this I guess but this particular white woman I feel sorry for any black dude she talks to cause what I heard I just couldn't believe and the words that came out of her mouth she said it just so fluently I'll talk to y'all about that I ain't gonna talk to y'all here because um, I only got a limited amount of time because I got to go and sign some papers and give some money and all this stuff here. And he said he's going to be at his office at 945. It is 926 here. And I told him that I had to take a shower, put some clothes on, all that stuff like that. So hopefully we'll meet up around 10. So, <laughs> yeah, let me get myself together. I'll probably talk to y'all in the car. I'll probably... Uh, talk to y'all in the car after all of that's done because this is a story that is the reason again and the reason why I don't hang out with people outside my race because I fear that this is going to happen so let's stay tuned for that story <laughs> hey just crew so Y'all, oh Lord, the last time I talked to y'all, it was 10, 9, something. It is now 1.50 in the afternoon. <sighs> so much is going, <laughs> so much has went on. Oh my God. So, I went to go sign, pa not sign papers, uh, pick up my key, uh, give him the, give him payment yes I know I see them behind me you ain't gotta let me know these things I appreciate it though um so guy went there got back excited went over to the place to check it out I only had two lights on so I'm thinking you know why my lights ain't on yada 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 He tells me, which I didn't know, but that I have to tra trans transfer the electric, you know, transfer all that over into my name. Which again, I didn't know that. So, GRU, I don't know if they're if they're different from Florida Power and Light, which I hope they are. But you know, he's saying for that unit, you know hundred dollars or something i'm thinking damn that's still a lot just for that little unit i mean hopefully i won't i won't be you know i won't be using that much 
they park right here, y'all. Can y'all still see me clearly? Because I still need to tell y'all this story before I get back there because, yeah. So, anyways, finish this story up. Um, so, I call GRU. GR, GRU says that address is not even in their system. Um, you know, you're wrong, yada, yada. I say, <laughs> what? How, how is that not here? You know, I just I just signed the lease to this address. How is it that this address is not in your system? And yeah, 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 wrong address, change this, do this. I have to go all the way up to the GRU building, fill out this, fill out that. Uh, it was so much, right? It was, Well, it wasn't a lot, but it was just something I didn't think I, I had to do. Um, so, yeah, anyways. But all of that is taken care of. I got things in my name and that. Um, came to Ollie's. Ollie's. Y'all know this my, this my, this my company here. Um, and I just got, you know, some little things. Um... Okay, let's not look at these cookies. Listen, don't, don't go nowhere hungry. So the little things I got were like cleaning stuff. I got um, a Swiffer thing that I'm gonna use to clean. I have this uh, mattress, mattress pad thing to put this rug on top of. I just found a cheap, a cheap rug the cheapest rug i could find that's big enough which isn't you know it's not really um thick or sturdy or anything just something to start off with and then i worry about all that other stuff later because i do like i said need to start getting some content out on my other channel so i got a rug that's like this turn it this way y'all know these type of fabric rugs uh oh and i still did it the wrong way i had it the right way the first time so, got this rug here. It is, you see, a five by seven. So I put that under, you know, make it a little thick or whatnot. I just needed something to hold clothes on. So I just got this little like garden stool thing that I'm just gonna, again, put, just have something for right now. It's a stackable, stackable stool. And I got it for $7.99. Y'all can see that? Yeah. And then I got broom and dustpan. So I already pretty much have like most of my cleaning stuff. I really don't need to clean, clean just yet. Because I do also want to change out the toilet um, to have it a more, I told y'all, a, a handicapped toilet. But my um, the handyman in my hotel says it's not called a handicapped toilet anymore it's more of just a standard toilet so i'm gonna go get that and have him put that in for me when he get a chance to because uh, i asked about doing that i asked about putting in better lights like daytime lights so you know it can make things bright in there he was like fine um so again handyman bender from my hotel is going to help out with that he said he's going to um you know come by take a look at it and see uh, how many lights i need he's like do you need how many do you need i'm like it's a lot of them it's a lot of lights <laughs> it's, it's a lot of lights like the ones you know the ones that like school lights i don't know how to explain it but y'all know the ones that with the long bulbs in it so I, uh, so yeah, he's gonna come by whenever he get a chance to come by and take a look at things. <sighs> yeah. So that's done. I came to Ollie's, but I left the key in my purse. I wasn't thinking, cause I could have just dropped all this stuff off at my spot <laughs> at the building at the office. But uh, yeah, I have it here. I'll take it, you know, later or something like that. Um, yeah, y'all, exciting. I know, exciting. Oh, what else I'm about to say? So, 
yeah that's that's how that's going okay so let's get into this conversation let's get into this what i was telling y'all about this she's not a co-worker she's actually the boss's daughter and for some reason i don't know why you know the they the boss kids i don't know they try they get away with stuff or think they can get away with the stuff that they do and all that i don't know and whatever but it just really disturbed me at the fact that the stuff that she was saying so anyways um so i came down i normally come down i talk to miss joy y'all know that and you know just you know just me and miss joy when i came down i seen her i was like oh. like what is she doing here and um she was she came by to show miss joy show well show miss joy to show us how to do this new machine that we got that uh scans ids and all this stuff like that right so she's there she's she's actually been there a good i guess three hours before i got there if y'all can see it's about to rain out here but it hasn't rained yet um but you heard the thunder and stuff anyways so okay so she was down there already talking 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 i think she just i i literally think she just likes to hear herself talk because she was just she's always it's like i'm not sure if she's a con person but you know how con people talk so fast and talk so much that they want you to brush over the shit that they that you thought you heard but you wasn't sure because now she's on to a whole nother subject and or something so she talks like that she talks so much and talks so fast that it's like what you just say so anyways they, they were talking 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 somehow we got on to oh black dude this black dude came and he was doing like a doordash delivery type thing uber whatever and she was like uh oh his eyes oh he's oh he looks nice no she said hey welcome back you know being nice to the guests or whatever and i was like oh no he's just you know delivery because i seen this he had a bag in his hand she was like i don't care he has nice eyes no he looks he looks good and i was like from what i seen not to say he didn't look good but he it wasn't i don't know okay so this then i was like you're like what did you see that made him look good to you she was like his eyes had this hazelness into in it i was like okay short story is she likes black men okay she dates black men she messes with black men all of that type of stuff and not just any she uh, okay we're gonna get into that so this is then this is what she's saying you know that's what i like i like hood dudes i like you know i like like the thugs and all that stuff you know i like don't i don't know why i don't know why i like them but you know i can't take them home but i still you know that's what i like that rubbed me the wrong way you know that uh, i'm not gonna take them home but you know what i'm saying okay so then we get on this dude that used to work at the hotel that she ended up messing with and before miss joy told me that the dude came in at least presented himself as being you know a nice dude you know dressed nice and all that stuff like that but then when he started messing with her or whatever things then changed and flip-flopped and now he's looking more thuggish you know than he normally did and miss uh joy was like i don't know what happened one minute he looked like this and then next minute he did and then she says he was always like that he was always like that he always had you know that type of thuggish thuggish stuff in him and all that stuff like that guess what he you know she started talking about what happened to his baby mama and she lost like her license her rn license uh, behind him I, I guess she took a charge from him or whatever um so she's not an RN no more she lost her like license now she's some manager at some gas station yada 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 you know talked about that black dude came back down she had to speak to him once again all right you have a good day mm -hmm. yada yada um so that just makes me think she she just talks to black dude she don't care anything about how nothing she just talks to anybody that's black that may you know go against her 
parents or you know family and stuff like that so y'all know back in the days back in the 50s and 60s and 40s and stuff like that when a white woman looked at a black dude if a black dude looked back at them you know they about to get lynched and shit like that that just that just gave me the vibes how she was talking it just really gave me like you was you would literally get somebody killed okay so this the second thing she said that really made me think this is why i do not have other race friends so she's talking about the dude who you know girlfriend took the charge for him and all this or something i don't know how i don't think she took the charge for him but because he was doing something out of her house they would think they were telling her well how'd you not know that this person was doing this in your place whatever whatever so so now she gets on to this other dude that she was hanging out with or whatever and he was telling her that you know if they get pulled over um you can have to hide this in your boobs and all this stuff. And she was like, nah, I ain't doing that shit. What I'm going to do is get out and walk it over to the police because I ain't taking nothing. Because who who they going to believe, me or you? You the one who got like 14 felonies and all this shit like that? That right there. Who, you, who they going to believe, me or you, is what took me out. Because that's how men black men get caught up or in the system behind shit like that who they gonna believe me or you and i just could not stop hearing that every because she just kept you know kept talking and kept talking just kept talking but those words were the only thing that stuck in my head who they gonna believe me or you and you know White women can do those crocodile tears and, oh my gosh, I didn't know. <laughs> and, you know, she could use all the excuses in the world because her dad is a retired police officer man. So, you know, she could throw that up in there. You know, it's a whole lot of stuff that she could do and say to get herself out of the situation that she's in. But she's going to leave whoever she's with high and dry because as long as she's not in it, she's good. And, you know, I just, I could not, it's like, how do, and I just kept saying, I said, I wouldn't even put, I couldn't even put myself in no situation like that. Like, if I know this dude is no good or whatever, you know, he riding around like this one dude, my coworker tried to hook me up. I found out he sells, not weed, but he sells pot or rock or whatever. Hell no. I'm not riding around with no nigga. No, I ain't hiding shit and I ain't doing shit. Excuse me. So anyway, so it I, I I couldn't I couldn't listen to it no more. I tried to because if you try to talk, not that she'll cut you off, but then you know it's one of those people who always gotta put their story in the shit. And it's like, well, I don't care. Like she tells other, everybody else about how she doesn't care about, you know, what they got going on. Just give me what I want. You know what I'm saying? I don't care that you're going through this or whatever. I asked you to give me a, a, a handful of straws. You know, just something stupid like that. So she doesn't care to hear other other people's shit. She just like to hear herself. So I, I got tired of talking. I got tired of listening to what she was saying. I started talking to Miss Joy, and I was like, how excited I am about getting this space and all this stuff like that. Here she go. What off of space? What this? What this? What this? I was vague about everything. She's like, oh, why are you being so vague about it? Because I'm thinking, I don't know you. I don't care about, you know, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I don't care. I don't care that you're the boss's daughter. I don't. I have no, you know, I, I don't want to deal with you in that sense. I don't want you knowing nothing about me. I already don't talk to anybody. So that's one person I for sure don't want to know any of my business, right? And with these type of women that's out here, I, I just like I say, I pray for the, for the young men who decide to who decide to mess with a, a white woman. Like I say, I have no issues, you know, as long as you ain't gonna do that shit to me. I and it makes me think it doesn't matter what who what. Pos what predicament she's in whether it's a black man black woman 
anything that she can get herself out of, she's going to say who you think they're going to believe, me or you. Who you think they're going to believe, me or you? And when I told Miss Joy how, what she said, she said, I heard her say that, but it didn't resonate with me. Because, you know, y'all are two white women. It's not going to resonate with you because... Oh, how you know I want to go back there? It's not going to resonate with you because it's, if that happens to you, y'all are both white women. Y'all can be like, you know, whatever, whatever. Y'all both could do the crocodile tears and they just figure out who's telling the lie. Who's, right. All right, sir. So my my business. Um... So yeah, that just made that made me that just you know, and I told her that, and she was like, "Yeah, I can understand why you would say that because that is some shit. That's not just you know, that's not something you say, especially if you like black men. If that's what you attracted to, that's what you like. That right there, them words right there should never that them, them words right there should never come out your mouth, not when dealing with black people. So yeah." Okay, so this is the room I'm going to transform transform into my, um, you know, my trial hall room because it has these windows here. Let me. Okay, anyways, this is <laughs> where I'm going to be to transfer, trans, whatever. Y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say. And then, here are the chairs I got from. From Goodwill. Oh, Lord. So, these are the two chairs I got from Goodwill. And it's just these, it just says gray chairs. They were for $9.99, so I got both of them. Just to keep it, you know, the pair together. Uh, and then the rug y'all seen already. And then the other stuff I already showed y'all. So, yeah, we're about to uh, clean this room up.
So this is gonna be where I'll do, you know, some stuff like, hey, what is up, good people of the world? Why well, Juicy here, coming to y'all with another yada yada yada. Got my rack here. Oh, at least I can look out the window like that. Um, you know, throw my stuff down on this chair when I'm done with it or something. Just really simple for right now. <clears throat> yeah, if I need to put on shoes or, oh, shoes or something. I'm gonna put something here. It just looks plain right now, y'all. Y'all know that part. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna fill this up and put something on the wall to kind of keep the echo going down. Um, trying to think, what can I do? What if I do some type of tapestry thing? Y'all know, like, um, Um, you know, like a, a wall thing, tapestry, that's, is it called tapestry? Wow, y'all can really see how much of a waist I don't have, like, oh, I know, whatever, anyways, uh, <laughs> so this is pretty much it, the rug, this chair, I leave the other chair out there, you know, I don't know, for some reason. I'm um, gonna we'll find maybe like a little plant or something to put here. Of course, my clothes, whatever I'm going to be hauling this time is gonna be on this rack. Maybe I should go and get me a mirror so I can put behind y'all so that I can see myself while I'm putting on clothes. I probably go to Walmart. Um, I suppose I'm going to Lowe's, depending on what time it is, going to Lowe's to price out a toilet. Also, oh, I like this carpet, this little rug thing. I like to be barefooted, uh, which I'm probably going to have to get a, a lot more rugs because. I like these floors, but they're very nice the color and everything. But again, I just, I don't know. Carpet on my feet just feels oh so good. Um, what else about to say? So yeah, I mean, this is all I can do for now. My security, like I said, my security stuff doesn't come until tomorrow. Um, Yeah, my security stuff don't come until tomorrow. I gotta figure out how I can keep this door locked from the inside. Maybe I have to tie something to the door, maybe do a door stop thing or something, but I need to keep that door locked while I'm in here, especially again, late at night. No, sir, I, I will not. Um, um, find some thing that means I have to go back to Ollie's get some little plug-ins so they can smell good around here and they had the dollar the Walgreen brand plug-ins at Ollie's for a dollar ninety nine so I might go back over there and get that but for now this is all I have to do is um, this right here <laughs> So, uh, let me see, what else am I gonna do? If I see something at Ollie's to put up here, um, a painting, or you know, you know I still got all that stuff in Dallas that I'm planning on going to get um, by the end of June. So I got a plan for that, save for that. Well, just plan for that. Um, yeah so i don't know i still think i want to hang up with like a something like a tapestry like um am i saying it right tapestry something purple of course y'all know that or purpley gray or i probably have to find something gray 
to match the what I already have in here. I only I just have this just as a table. It's not really anything significant. I just needed something to put something on. I may also get something to cover this and put a plant on it. You know, just maybe something gray. I don't know. But so far, yeah, this is it. This is what I got. <laughs> Tomorrow. Hey, what's up, just crew? I made it back to my room. Um so y'all seen me fixing up my little space. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna put in there because I just noticed that you can see my panties through um those workout pants I had and I don't like that. So I'm gonna see what I can what to put out and what not to put out, whatever, y'all know. Um, I, I don't know if I still want to go or not because there's nothing at the movies I want to see. I'm not really into the Fast and Furious stuff, so that's the only thing that's out now, really. Um, because I've seen pretty much everything that's at the movies. Let me just make sure. Especially at the movie theater, I like going to, um, yeah, Fast X, I don't care about the book club, something called Hypnotic with Ben Affleck, but I don't want to watch that movie because, hmm, that seems real, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, I've already seen that, something called Love Again, I don't care to watch that, um, God, Are You There, it's, Megan or whatever her name is. Air. Air is already out on Prime. If y'all don't have it. And then the Super Mario Brothers movie is out. So. Yeah. Not really much. I want to see. And then the next movie I think I want to go see. Is, is about Father or um, The Machine. Kandor, Kandor is a movie I also want to see. Um, Transformers don't come out to June. The Flash doesn't come out to June. I can't wait to see Indiana Jones. Um, but right now, ain't there isn't much out that I want to see. The Little Mermaid comes out, but I don't have any children, so. Uh, So I don't know. I may I may not go to the movies, but I there's nothing I want to see. So I was just thinking maybe uh, wash my hair then. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to use this deep conditioner. Y'all know this melanin. This melanin. Is it goes a long way. A little does actually go a long ways because. Let me see if I can show y'all without showing y'all my booty. That's as much of, of the oil I've used. And it has all of that. This shit. And if y'all are heavy handed like me. But this, the little bit goes a long way this this and the conditioner my hair feels so soft like by now my hair would feel so crunchy my hair would feel dry brittle crunchy my ends will feel crunchy i wouldn't be able to run my fingers through my hair even though you know it's a little detangled or you know i brushed it up into a ponytail but even with it not being detangled, I could still do it to my hair. It makes my hair feel Yeah. Where was this all my life? <laughs> Where was this at? Cause y'all know, y'all know I was just complaining about how dry my hair was. So, yeah. I'm gonna wash my hair, do all of that. Oh, that's really what I came on here to tell y'all about. I don't know how I just skipped all through that. 
So I was at the building, at my building, at my command center. That's what I'm gonna tell her we gonna, we gonna call that command center. Um, Cause she was like, she wanna, she wanna, instead of saying my new building or my new office or something like that. Okay, so uh, what I realized, which I don't know why I didn't realize that before, you know, when I was touring the property, I can't lock it from the inside. Like I can open the door from the outside with the key, but I can't lock it from the inside. And I'm like, well, so, so it's like, what? Like if I'm in a bag working or if I'm in a bag, you know, stocking stuff or uh, unboxing stuff somebody anybody can walk in beside i mean you know besides me looking at my camera my security camera and having the other um yeah so i'm gonna have to get another lock or get something to keep it closed because it it opens this way it doesn't open it doesn't you know push in you gotta so it wouldn't be nothing that i could put in front of the door to keep you know them from pushing it in they can just open it up um so um yeah i don't know why i started talking to her when i was talking to y'all my apologies i just left her so it's not like <laughs> we haven't been talking. So, yeah, I've came back early to ask my you know the handyman vendor uh what can i do is there some little contraption if i can't change out the lock is there something i can use to keep the door closed so that it doesn't open oh maybe like a kickstand or something oh can i look that up <laughs> um yeah let me see i'm gonna google amazon and see kickstand security door thing <laughs> kickstand security door thing kick stand Security, security door lock. Is there such a thing? Yeah, but that ain't what I'm looking for. A door jam. What does that do? Okay, so yeah, no, that's not gonna work. No, that's not gonna work. For sliding door, is it a sliding door? Security lock for glass door. Um, so yeah, I, I like to be there at night. So, you know, editing, packing stuff, doing stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I can do this at night. But yeah, I get my, um, I have it coming here. So I got two little security cameras, one to stay out 
side and then one to put it um i don't know i'll figure it out <laughs> um so i got that and then i also got this thing that you put on the door that if the door opens it'll make a noise so i got that and i got a four pack of that so i'm gonna put that on each window the little window things at the bottom and then one right by the door yeah that doesn't do nothing for me so yeah yeah no what's this thing No, but my door opens outward, not inward. The fuck is this thing? Give me some examples. <laughs> they just showed this thing and I'm like, uh, what? Okay, y'all. That's it. So, I'm about to do my hair. Um, I don't know. Figure out. I may be putting on some wigs for the next couple of days since you know i got wigs galore until i figure out about this sewing situation um so yeah yeah hopefully i can do i'm i'm hoping to do a bathing suit try on tomorrow i'm getting up early i told y'all that i think i told y'all that earlier today i'm trying to get up early saturday tomorrow um get this bathing suit haul done and then move on over to the next pile of shit. I think it might be Lane Bryan because that's a lot of stuff I got from Lane Bryan and Torrid, which I think I'm about, to, I'm about to be ordering something else from Torrid. Cause it's, they got some stuff on sale. So yeah. We gonna see. We got some dresses, got some shirts, got some mostly dresses. One, two, three dresses. It's one piece and this bodysuit. So it's only five things. I really like this this lady here. This model here. Let me see if I can show y'all her. I really like her. She's so pretty. And I love her hair because it's what I'm looking for. Let's go back and find her. And I think she lost some weight too because she used to look a little, you know, fuller in the face. Her and another lady that always is on here. Let me find her. This lady right here. Let's see if I can get a better picture. This lady right here. She's so pretty. Do I go higher or lower? She's so pretty. And I love her hair because her hair is, mu is a mullet. Let me see if I can find a better picture of it. Where she's she in that yellow dress? Is she in this one here? Yeah. She looks so pretty. She got that mullet. Her. Yeah.
she's so pretty she's always on here as well as the lady with the curly hair is always has been a model for them for a very long time this lady here her she does a lot of their um, panties and bras and stuff those two are like the, the main two I think or is it her is she always on oh that's the same lady her hair is just straight anyways so um yeah that's it that's all I'm doing um yeah that's it y'all Oh, that's it. My hair has grown. I need to cut these this short part off because y'all want the money. I want my hair straight though too. Anyways, ooh, maybe I should flat iron my hair. No, because my size ain't done. Uh, we'll figure it out. But um, ooh. <laughs> I'm a Floridian now. Okay, without showing y'all all of my all of my stuff, I try to block out as much as I can. E got my Florida drawers. Got my Florida plate. Boop, 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 boop. I am now a real life. Floridian. Yeah. <laughs> we are Floridian now. We are a Floridian. Got my my Florida license. Got my Florida license uh, license plate, insurance, uh, driver's license. We're, we we Florida. We're, we're not a Texan anymore. <sighs> all right, y'all. So that's it. That's all the stuff I want to say to you. Got my license plate, office stuff. Seen that, done that, did this, do that. <gasps> it's just all just coming along, y'all. The, the the dream, the the plans. The manifesting, the all of that, it is. <laughs> oh, I want to thank everybody. Thank everybody who um, thought, you know, highly of me or said nice things to me, encouraged me to do anything and everything I want to do. Um, just really have my back on stuff. Thank y'all. Love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Really, really, truly, y'all don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand how much the positiveness that, you know, I got, the positive things that I got, words and just the encouragement, just I just want to hug y'all so much because if y'all know all the stuff, you know, y'all know most of the stuff. Some of the stuff I've been through, but other stuff y'all don't know. Uh, you know, some stuff is, it seems embarrassing to me to tell, but it's just life, you know. You have to go through things and deal with people and all this stuff just to get to that next point journey in your life. And... I'm ready for this. Yeah, I've been ready for this. I, 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 it took me a while to be ready for this, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Seriously, ready for it. So, yes. Thank you to all those who believed in me or anything. Even people who didn't believe in me. <laughs> people who hated on me. Hated me for whatever. Being bored, being basic, whatever. Thank you to all the haters, cause that just encouraged me to do more. 
you know be more positive do more things help more people do you know so yes i thank everybody everybody thank you appreciate it so much love mm. <laughs> i'm just excited um i'm excited I, I say that all the time i'm ready for the next journey chapter page lesson all of that that comes with life um so yeah <laughs> the last <laughs> thinking on the last vlog i was tearing up and stuff like that but i was telling y'all it was it's happy tears it wasn't bad tears it was just not really frustration but just figuring out and needing help to figure out so right now i figured it out we figured it out we figured it out Alright y'all, let me go. Let's not rub nothing in nobody's face because you know how people are. Oh, she trying to rub shit in people's face. I ain't rubbing shit. I'm just excited. Who else is going to be excited for me besides me? So, yeah. But anyways, talk to y'all good people later. Alright y'all, talk to y'all later.